So this bad boy made it 1,300 miles from Michigan down to Deals Gap in Tennessee and back. I'm pretty proud of her. Now it's time to turn up the boost. I'm working on installing water injection, which um, you can see that the nozzle's in there. This is the best I can do because I'm definitely doing a pre-compressor, which means that that water is going to go in before the turbocharger, and those blades are going to slap it silly and kick it through my in intake system and uh, into the engine. A um, couple things I have to watch out for is I don't want water down here. I don't want water coming into this system dripping and whole water droplets going into my um I don't want whole water droplets like falling off and going into my compressor because those little blades are spinning upwards to a hundred thousand RPM. That's right, one hundred thousand RPM um when they're going nuts. So think about what a water droplet would do to something spinning that fast. So um couple considerations I have. This water injection system is pretty damn awesome. Uh, solenoid here controls the uh, the water flowing in. The air always is flowing in and it's kind of like a uh, uh, you know your grandma's water perfume bottle. Um, one of my concerns I have is see this nice empty space where the battery went? That's where I'm going to be putting the water bucket because what's going to happen is the the compressor aka turbo is going to uh, is going to pressurize this, so I want it as close as possible. Think about it: one gallon of water. Um, how many of you guys know how much one gallon of water weighs? It's going to be weighing about seven and a half pounds. That thing is going to be sitting somewhere in here. I do not want it going forward. <laughs> I'm backwards. I don't want it going forward and hitting into my radiator and fan blades, and I don't want it going backwards and hitting into my power steering. So, damn it! I always have dark videos. I cannot get away from this. Okay, uh, there we go. From there, see that brace that goes across the car? I'm going to be fabricating something to have the water sit, the bucket sit there. And uh, this is my beginning prepping for water injection. So I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date on that one.